Hey everyone, today we're going to be building Redivator planes in Plane Crazy. Why? Because no one really builds Redivators. I'm literally the only person I know who has Redivator planes. And it's a shame too because Redivators are really cool. For example, here is a Cirrus Vision Jet that I built. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got the nice double seating. Got the nice subwoofer in the back, but my recording software doesn't allow me to play audio, so we're not going to be looking into that. But as you can see, they fly very well. Now I'm going to show you many different designs for the Redivator. This design that I have for the Cirrus Jet is definitely the most complicated, and I want to make you aware of something if you choose to use this particular design, and that is that if you're building something that moves just as fast, if not faster, than this plane does, you'll notice that whenever I pitch it up and down a whole lot, the wings or the rudivator is flat. And no matter how strong I set these servo motors right here, it's going to flat. Now, if I have something much slower moving, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the example of this design, of um, the three servo motor design. Slower moving things are fine to use it, and it doesn't really have too much of an effect on them. So as you can see, this one flies very easy stable and that's one of the things too they're very stable flying planes it's just a little confusing to build because you can't build at 45 degree angles in this game so how do we build this well we're going to have to build it flat and then we're going to have to rotate them up basically so for this first build what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and show you the configurement of these so if we take a block here, we're just going to move this up a few spaces and we're just going to stick two blocks to the other side so we got a nice thing of three. Now all we're going to do, I'm not going to build the rest of the plane, I'm just going to build the Redivator so you can see what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and get motor two. You will never use motor one ever in your life for this build just because that would be living hell to deal with. And you can build like this if you want to, but I personally prefer to build like this just because I think it looks better. Either or, take your pick. Both of these will work just fine. But as I said before, I'm more of into this style, and I want you to notice how I keep the yellow pegs facing downwards. Very important that they face downwards. Why is it important that they face downwards? Because this is their neutral position. They know to zero to this position. And if you have them all facing the same direction, it's much easier to keep track of where things are. So now we're going to go ahead and click on the screwdriver and begin setting these things. So for the first ones, I like to set it to P and semicolon. Set it to whatever you want, but I'll give you an explanation of why I do this. So P is going to be the button that toggles them up. Semicolon is going to be a dead key because semicolon is going to be going in the opposite direction of the direction we want to go, which is up and locking at 45 degrees. So now that we have these set, and I'm willing to bet that this is going to be inverted as compared to the other one, just because they're on opposite sides. So now that we have our keys set, we're going to set these to servos. So what we're going to do is we're going to click servo and toggle. You'll see it's default to 45, so we're fine. Don't need to worry about that speed. Don't need to worry about that either, but now we got these both set. I'm going to go ahead on these other two motors, or other four motors, and set them to servos real quick. So there we go. So now we're going to take a look at it by first adding seat. And again, I'm not going to build an airplane out of this. I just want to show you it real quick. So here we go. So we hit P, boom. There it is, right there. So now, these next two motors are going to be our turning and also our up and down. So, for the turning, the turning is going to be on these inner two. So, we're going to have our A and D and our A and D. And we're not going to toggle these because then you'll be able to freely move. I've noticed that they like to run on 15 degrees. Of course, every motor, or every build is different so you have to play around with it but i can assure you that you're definitely never going to need 45 degrees of turning in your life that's just absurd all right so we got these turning and i'm going to go ahead and add a panel to 
the um, end of the wings just so I can see what it's doing so that way I tell you the right information. So how can I tell if they're going in the right direction or not? Well, we're going to look at one of these. So I'm looking at this one right now and I'm hitting the D key. So air is going to hit this and it's going to push it this way which is going to make it steer this way. So that's correct. That's facing the correct direction. This one is turning up so air is going to hit it, push it that way which is going to make us go that way. So the turning is correct. So again, that is going to be the AD and AD. And now we're going to do this side, so W and S, and S and W is what I think it's going to end up being. Now, your um, up and downs, down is going to be even less than your... Um, steering degrees are. I think 10 is usually about correct for this design. So let's see. So yeah, so I'm hitting W. So as you can see, it's pitching up. So air is going to hit, pushing it upwards, which is going to bring us going down. And then this is going to funnel air. So it's going to be pushing, pushing. So it's going to bring this part down, which is going to lift us up this way. So again, screenshot this if you want to. This is what it should look like for this side. This is what it should look like for this side. This side. This side. This side. And this side. And again, it's crucial that you set your um, this part to a dead key. So P is a key that I'm not going to touch once I begin flying. So I have it way on the opposite side of my keyboard so I don't even have to think about it. And then semicolon, we're never going to use period because let's face it, I mean, you could fly it like this if you really wanted to, but it's a rut evader. It's not traditionally going to look like that. But let's just say that this is not your thing and you don't want to build something like this. There are easier versions of the rut evader to build. For example, we're going to take a look at this V-tail Bonanza, which I think more of y'all are going to probably like this design. So you'll notice I have the same steering as before, but instead of having two motors, I have it built onto one motor, or one servo, I should say. And what's cool about this setup is that's a modular design. So I'm going to go ahead and just let you see that this works. So we're going to take off really quick with it. As you can see, very stable. These things are very stable and they have a really insane amount of turning. You can drift these things, but I'm getting sidetracked because you want to see how this is built. So we're going to go ahead and clear this off. Again, this is stupidly easier than the other one is to build, but I figured I'd show you guys how to build the other one. So what we're going to do, we're just going to get another motor two and we're going to be placing this thing down. So again, make sure it faces down. Now you can get fancy if you want to. You probably saw what I was using on the other one, which is just a simple round wedge out because there really aren't any other blocks and I just had wedges covering the sides. But you have options here. So we can either do like we did on the last one where we had the motors here or we can do it even easier than that by simply going into control surfaces and placing control surfaces on here. And this will be significantly easier. You can either bind these or you could choose not to bind these. Either way, up to you. But this will be significantly easier because the only programming you need to do for this model, as I put the control surfaces on backwards, I just realized, make sure again that your control surfaces face this way with the white edge pointing forwards. Oh, there we go. The only programming that you need to do on your part if you want to do the absolute bare minimum is going to be setting to P, to semicolon, servo, servo, it's called a servo, toggle, and place a seat. And you would probably have the rest of the plane here, but just so you can see that it works, and I don't even know why I need a defensive replacement. Just go 
Okay. I'll just go ahead and set the seat to the right position. So just going to delete this and stick a chair, the correct chair, on here. So there we go. And change the camera view. Okay, so glad I discovered that. So it is going in the wrong direction. Again, easy fix. If it's going in the wrong direction, you just simply swap the keys. There we go. So now I'm just going to change my camera view. And there we go. So as you can see, got that. And actually, now that I look at it, I guess it still thinks that we are. Um, Oh yeah, it must still think that we are sitting in this position. So I do apologize. You're actually going to want to um, program these for your up and down. Now not all hope is lost because I just realized that since you're going to have to do it like that, easy fix is that we're going to have to set two things of panel on here. So we're going to have one of these for steering left and right and then one of these for up and down basically so again you would have your w s s w a and d a and d and now we're going to go ahead and tilt it and make sure we don't fall over okay so w s needs to be reprogrammed <laughs> They need to be flopped. Okay, well, you get the point. So this would be your up and down, and then you, of course, have your left and your right, and yada, yada, yada. That's basically how to um, build renovators. I hope that um, y'all were able to learn something from this. And who knows? It's a, it's a very unique design. You don't see many of them, that's for sure. I know... Yeah, you just don't see Rudivators. You really don't. Yeah, so see, here's another Rudivator plane that I made. But anyways, I'm going to uh, end the video here.